Hi, today we're going to see how to create a perspective shadow text effect in GIMP. So first I'm going to create a new image and go to File, New. The image width is 1920 and the height is 1080, press OK. And now press the minus key on your keyboard to zoom out. And now select the grading tool. So here, change the grading to FG to BG RGB. The colors I'm going to use is black and white. The shape is linear and I'm just going to drag here like this. So I want to make the black color on top. So I'm just going to switch between the foreground and background. So for now, we're going to change it later. Press enter and now select the text tool. Make sure the foreground color is white. The font I'm using is Roboto Bold and the font size is 700. So I'm just going to type my text. So here it is. Select the alignment tool, left click. Now I'm going to align it to the center horizontally. Make sure the align is relative to the image. So here it is. Now select the move tool. And now I'm just going to move it upward. So keep the control key down here while moving it to move it on the same line. And now I'm going to make selection from this text. So select the text tool. Right click on the text tool, alpha to selection. And now I'm going to shrink this selection. So go to select, shrink. Reduce this selection by two pixels, press OK. And now select the gradient tool. And now I'm going to trace a gradient here from here to here. So I'm going to increase it. So I'm going to move this point here to make it lighter. So here, press Enter. And now go to select none to remove the selection. So here's our text. And now I'm going to create another transparent layer. So click on this icon here, fill it to transparency, press OK, place it under the text layer. So click on this icon here. And now select the rectangle selection tool, change the mode here to replace current selection, and then uncheck expand from center, and then check the feather edges. The radius I'm going to use is 55. And now I'm going to make selection here so here like this press enter and now i'm going to select the gradient tool and then here the gradient is the same as before so let's say change it to fg to bg rgb shape is linear and now i'm going to trace the gradient here like this place it here like this and now press enter so here it is go to select none to remove the selection so i want to make this part look like as the floor and this one here as the wall here so now i'm going to change the one the background here the black one darker one so here and now i'm going to bring it here so here press enter we can still change the color of the backgrounds here later so select the text tool Right click on it, alpha to selection, create a new transparent layer. So click on this icon here, fill it with transparency, press OK. And now fill this selection here on the transparent layer with black. So just drag the black color like this. So here it is. We're going to use this layer here as shadow. So go to select, none to remove selection, and now place it under the white text layer, this one here. And now let's crop this one here, the black text to its content, layer to its content. So go to layer, crop to content. Now let's show the light text layer here, the whiter one. So now I'm going to add some guides here. So go to image, guides, new guide by percent, and then select the direction, vertical, position 50%, press OK. And now let's add another guide, go to image, Guides, new guide by percent, the direction now horizontal and position still 50%, press OK. Now select the rectangle selection tool and check the feather edges, check the expand from center and now just go where the guides crosses. And now I'm going to create my guides here, so I'm going to place them here. So I'm going to place them here like this, press center and now I'm going to create guides from this selection, so go to image, guides, new guides from selections. So here it is, go to select, 
non-thermal selection and now I'm just going to add another guide here from the ruler here where I'm going to place my text here with the perspective tool so here it is and now here make sure you're selecting the black text here this one here select the perspective tool here are the settings I'm using left click on the text so here we are selecting the block text and then just drag to the guide here so here it is and now let's drag uh, this one here to the guides so here as you can see it snaps in order to snap go to view make sure the snap to guides here is checked so here it is and now just click on transform so here it is and now to remove the guides just go to image guides remove all guides and now I'm going to blur this black text here, shadow here, go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And now I'm going to increase the blur a little bit. So here I'm going to leave it to six. So it's okay here, press okay. And then just decrease the opacity till you get the results you want. So here it is. And now you can still, for example, change the background here. So let's say for example I may select a lighter color so here for example for the, for the this one here that serves as the floor just right click alpha to selection select the gradient tool and then just drag it like this so here press enter now go to select none so I think it was much better before so right click alpha to selection so here press enter so that the text is visible so here it is so I think that's okay here right click new from visible so I think that's it that's how you can create the perspective shadow text effect in GIMP thanks for watching have a nice day and uh, till next time